Okay, time to look at another of the Common Rider bikes. This is the Rider and Monster series uh, ride shooter for Common Rider Ryuki in its box. There is no SH Figure Arts bike for Ryuki yet, but there will be one in a few months. I don't remember off the top of my head when it's scheduled for, but it's coming out soon, and chances are it's probably just a reissue of this, possibly slight remote. Let's get it open. And here it is with Ryuki out of the box. Um, let's look at the accessories really quick. It's got a manual or something decoed up to look like an advent card. It comes with two advent cards. See? Advent card. It says so. Ride shooter and uh, a picture of Ryuki. That's nice. Sorry about bumping the camera. So this thing is pretty close to figure art size, close enough. Um, and it has some action features. If you push this button, maybe it's this button. If you push that button, it flips open. If you have a figure in here, it catapults them out of the ride shooter and onto their face, onto the table. Um, but you can also do it like that. Boing. It rolls nicely. It balances really well since it's got big, huge, honking tires. I mean, look at the back one. And it's really, really cool looking. Um, it's got greeblies and doodads and whatnots, and it weighs a ton. This entire thing is heavy. I could bludgeon up dolphin to death with this. Dolphins deserve it anyway. Um, popping that open again, it's got beautiful red metallic -y paint that figure arts does not match. I don't think that means anything, just pointing it out. Um, this whole mechanism. It's even got some nifty a decal in there, a sticker that shows stuff. And it's got two soft rubber belt clips. I do not have a Ryuki as a Sochaku Henshin, so I don't know if it fits, if it attaches on that line or not. It does not attach to the figure arts. Let's see. That's what this button is for. Come on. Um, this figure does fit in here. It's a little bit hard to get in while I'm looking at camera. Ryuki has about a hundred hands that he came with, so he already has hands that will fit on this, but apparently doesn't want to. It's soft rubber. It's very soft rubber handlebars. I kind of don't like that. There we go. And these things pop out really easily. Um, so it's it's a little doesn't fit. You can kind of see that he's wedged in there good, but he's levitating. And if we angled out his legs more. Still levitating. Well, he doesn't sit on the seat, but he wedges in there nicely. So I take back. When they do release the Figure Arts version, hopefully this will be retooled a little bit so that it fits the figure a little bit better. But still, it looks fine. Especially once you, uh, anyway. There you go. Got a reflection. You can see him in there. Because I was holding on, he didn't fly out. So that's Ryuki's bike, the ride shooter. It looks really cool. Um, I'm not going to display 
a figure sitting in there very often because they look so great on their own. But you know, I could just have this sitting there next to it and it'll look cool. And I am totally going to buy the figure arts release when it comes out. But I do recommend this one in the meantime. It shows up on Mandarake very rarely. Jeez, uh, how much was it? Anywhere between $30 and $50 plus shipping. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it was worth it, and I'm happy with it. And I completely forgot to compare it to some other bikes. So here is Beat Chaser. Still with Landform Wizard riding it. And it's way bigger. And if you recall, Beat Chaser is roughly about the size of Machine Winger and Machine Massigler. Um, maybe a little wider of those. But anyway, so there's that. And here is the other biggest bike I have. Um, what was this one called? Hard Boilder. And again, Ride Shooter is lots larger and heavier, even though Hard Boilder has got some hefty die cast weight to it. This thing just, this is, my house is made out of bricks that weigh less than this thing. That's probably a slight exaggeration. So anyway, it's big and it's awesome.